Today is Thursday, the 29th of November. It's the uh, towards the end of the first week of negotiations and uh, the various negotiating tracks are looking at text produced by the chairs and discussing them. I'm going to talk a little bit about the state of the fast start finance, which is the $30 billion that the developed countries promised over the last three years, 2010, 11, and 12. Uh, just before the COP, there were several reports produced by a number of organizations, including Oxfam, the World Resources Institute, IIED, together with Brown University, that looked at the figures <coughs> and found that they were a bit short of $30 billion altogether, uh, that only around 20% was allocated to adaptation, and that the rest was clearly double-counting development assistance along with climate finance, and in some cases even triple counting uh, loan guarantees uh, that the countries were making as well. After these reports came out in the last couple of days, several of the Annex I countries, including the United States of America, the United Kingdom and Japan, have come out with new figures, which collectively the developed countries claim have come up to $33 billion, of which they also claim that they have disbursed the majority of the funds. Uh, these figures simply do not match the ones that the independent observers have done. And uh, yesterday, the U.S. government met with the least developed countries and uh, shared information on a country-by-country -country basis of how much funds went to the least developed countries. Many of the delegates from the least developed countries, when they saw the figures that were attributed to their countries, uh, firstly, were not aware of these figures at the country level, and secondly, many of them felt that allocations had been made to organizations like the World Bank or the Regional Bank or in some cases even NGOs, international NGOs, that were then attributed or claimed to have been uh, allocated to the developing countries or the least developed country when the country itself has not seen that funds. This all points to the fact that the way in which the international funding is being provided from the rich countries to the poor countries is completely untransparent and very, very difficult to unpack and follow. The least developed countries, the 48 poorest countries, have always claimed to receive 2 to $3 billion to implement the National Adaptation Programs of Action. They've only received $400 million or so, so far. Uh, their claim is that only funds that come through the least developed countries fund will be treated as fast start finance for the least developed countries and that is far from reaching the kinds of totals that they are asking for.